All right, this is something special. I'm joined now by Tim Willits from Sabre and the one and only Bruce Campbell. Bruce, uh, it is so exciting that Evil Dead is back as a video game. We got to a world premiere this last year at the Game Awards, and now it's awesome to be sharing more news uh, with fans. But I, I got to ask you, and, and believe me, I, I loved you were even narrating some of the videos we saw this year about this game. You are all in. Uh, I'm curious, like, what made you want to come back for, for Evil Dead in this form? Because it's about the only form I can come back in. Uh, I, I hung up my jersey as Ash hung up the chainsaw because I can't physically do that crap anymore. You know, I, I'm like an old stunt guy. My voice is fine, though. You know, my voice is what gives me away these days. I'm in a restaurant, blah, blah, blah. Some guy will go, hey, I heard your voice. Does, they don't recognize me, but they recognize my <laughs> voice. So uh, I figured let's let's stay involved in this game. I, I love the Evil Dead movies that got me into the film business. So game on. Game on is right. Uh, Tim, I know Saber has expanded doing more things and more studios. This was a, a project that was, was close to your heart and certainly, I think, inspired some of the work you, you did back in the day at id, right? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, we've been big fans of the franchise and these movies for years. And, uh, you know, when, when Ash held that shotgun in the earlier movies, that was an inspiration for, uh, for a lot of the games that I've done in the last uh, 30 years. Bruce, when they first pitched you on this, what was that like? How did you find out about this project? Uh, well, I'm one of the producers of the movies, so I'm, I'm in on the, the drill. Uh, we knew it was time for another game. We had done three other games, Evil Dead games, years ago. They were kind of much more rudimentary, but they got better. And then now we can swim with the sharks. We can run with the big dogs. Yeah, Tim, uh, for people that, that haven't heard an update in a while, how's development going on the game? Development's going well. You know, we are in the home stretch. You know, what's what's really exciting about this game is, you know, it has so many different aspects to it. You got your asymmetrical PvP, you can play with your friends, and we even have a couple side missions where you can play by yourself. So we're adding a lot of content. You know, we really think that we can deliver kind of that full featured Evil Dead experience to to our fans that love the franchise. So we're, we're really excited about it. And we'll talk more specifics uh, soon as well. I think the, the end result is going to be it's worth the wait. That's, that's my goal is that A, it was worth the wait. B, it was worth it to play it, period. Bruce, I know one of the cool things in this game is that there are four different ashes uh, yeah. in there from uh, <laughs> yeah. four different eras. Which one would you main? Which, uh, which, which character do you think people should play with? Oh, I would do the old guy. He's got all the experience. <laughs> a young guy doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. But that's the cool thing about the game. You can play other characters. You can play Possessed Ash. So it, it really is whatever your mood is when you play. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you went into the VO booth, did you have to do all, all these versions of Ash? Oh, of course. You know, that's the nightmare of doing voices for games. You have to allow for some guy who's going to stand at a window and go click, 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 click. It's like, get away from the window. There's nothing there. And the characters get killed 47 different ways. You have to do every death. So, yeah, it's the roots of a tree. You know, when you watch a video game, it's a lot of work. Tim, when you guys were scoping out this game, and what was most important for you to make sure that was was in this? So the most important thing for us was to really to get that, that action. You know, the, the Evil Dead movies are all about the gory kills and the finishing moves. And you know I love my finishing moves. Uh, so, um, you know, really kind of delivering that impact. One thing to add about the different ashes, when you pick your ash, he'll fall into a different category of class. You have your leader, which is the old ash, your warriors, your hunters, and your support. So based on the ash that you pick, you will, you will have a different uh, basic kind of class where you can help your, uh, your team win. Let's talk about some of the other characters. Uh, what can we expect, Bruce, uh, from, from the Evil Dead uh, canon? Uh, is pretty much everything in there? Uh, there's a lot, man. Let me tell you. You know, we went back to some of the original Evil Dead cast members to get their voice in on it. Because the, the hardcore, true blue folks, if they hear that it's the real Scotty and the real Cheryl, it just gives the game that much more street cred. Instead of some guy who's trying to sound like somebody else, it always sounds bogus. Yeah, that's how much we love our fans is that, you know, you go that extra mile for them so that they'll shut up. Yeah, no, seems seems very authentic. And as you said, Tim, the action, I mean, when I first saw this trailer, uh, it felt very modern, very up to date. And given, you know, 
your lineage, Tim, are doing some amazing, you know, action games inspired by Evil Dead. It's great to kind of go back to the uh, the core of it, and the you know multiplayer is obviously going to be a big part of it as well. Um, speaking of multiplayer, Bruce, I understand your son is a Twitch streamer. Is that right? Yeah, Andy Campbell. He, uh, you know, I tell him I don't understand what he does, but I don't have to because he's a gamer. He knows what's going on. Uh, hopefully, we're going to set up some tutorials with the old man. I mean, I don't know anything. So this is going to be, it'll be a real test of his skills. Uh, he's excited to play it as well. So hopefully, finally, I can kick my son's ass at something. I was going to say, new new, new Twitch content playing uh, Evil Dead. But that's part of the fun now is that, you know, games are really taking over the world. Um, and for someone like you, Bruce, that, you know, has, has done some game stuff, you continue to do awesome film stuff. You got your new film, Black Friday. I'm curious, like, when you look at the gaming space, even through the eyes of your son, are you excited about kind of the opportunity there? Uh, yeah, because it's a real game. You know, uh, we did games before, but I, I just don't think they were they were mainstream ready. And and these really are. The atmospheres are incredible. Night, day, rain, snow. You know, for a horror movie, the tone is important. The environment is important. The atmosphere, a lot of Evil Dead is mood. And they've done a good job at capturing it. The tricky thing, taking a movie, putting it into a video game, but it's a pretty good fit, and I think it works well. Yeah, no, uh, the guys at Saber have done an awesome job. Every time I see it, I get more and more excited to actually jump in and play it. Uh, Tim, before we go, uh, I mean, what's it been like for you guys to work with Bruce? I mean, this you, you kind of can't do this game without Bruce, right? Uh, yes, yes. You know, this, uh, it's been a pleasure uh, to, to work with Bruce. And it's also, just to repeat what he said, too, the other cast members have been great. You know, getting the real cast members in the booth and the personalities and the passion that they brought to helping us and working with us has been fantastic. So I will echo what Bruce says. The fans will love everyone that we brought back for this. It's going to be exciting. Well, the fans are never satisfied. That's the first thing you have to start with. You'll get up to about 80% satisfaction if you're if you include absolutely everything and go completely over the top, you can get to about eighty two percent. So that's <laughs> kind of what we're hoping for is that satisfaction. But I, I do think fans will realize that we we do think about them and we do factor them in. Yeah, no, as you said, eighty percent uh, in this day and age of the internet is pretty damn good. <laughs> and it looks yeah. like as you said a. An awesome game uh, with Saber. Uh, you know, it feels very up to date, modern, and sort of the gameplay and the graphics and style, but such a classic franchise. And I love that it's got your official seal of approval and you coming back to play all four Ashes. So uh, we cannot wait to, to jump in next year to uh, Evil Dead the game. Thanks, guys. Good. Play like the wind. Thank you.